what's going on, Pokemon trainer, some trainer caller, and you are watching one of my Pokemon battle videos here in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Thank you everyone for coming to this video, it means a lot. It is finally the holiday season. Hope you guys are staying safe out there from all the chaos. I know, it's crazy times, right? But hey, we're all in this together. We are going to pull through into 2021. Today's battle is my sixth battle here on the channel, at least for Sword and Shield anyway, and this was a great battle. I got a chance to battle against Superhero Seb, and he's a rookie from the looks of it because he has a half team of legendaries and no legendaries whatsoever, and despite that he was a great battler, so that's great. Now, uh, my team on the other hand is really good. I got a chance to learn a couple of things from watching YouTube videos, and it was really good. A really good experience to learn from a few analysts that know how to play Pokemon competitively the proper way because I was having trouble with all this so just by watching a few of their videos there they like chicken shout out to him for the videos awesome stuff now my team is centered around Landorus Therian so that's what my team is based around and you know Landorus Therian I got this from the mass layer I was like I want to make it defensive I want to make a more defensive team as well as a more offensive style too. So it's kind of a mixture of both. Offensively defensive, if you want to put it that way. From top to bottom, I have a Blaziken that's Choice Scarf. This is without speed boost because I thought it was Uber at one point, but it's not. So sorry about that. But hey, it's what it is. Starlight, the shiny Starmie I got from... I don't think this is from this game. I thought it was from another game that I played. It was great to get that one. Steelhead, I trained that one up. The Life Orb, Rock Polish, Head Smash, Agron. And of course, the Lander is holding leftovers. Shroom Head, which is a more specially defensive variant. I have two of them, guys. One of them is Paravigia, which is more physically apparent, but this one is more special apparent. And then Foxy, the Azure Work, designed to be a disguiser, and it's holding a Roselli Berry to get rid of the access damage from a fairy type attack. Like I said for my opponent, he has Zacian, Zerhora, Eternatus, All Creamy, and Surfesh and Charizard. So I was expecting Charizard to go Mega, or rather Dynamax, God. And you know, it is what it is. If, if they don't wind up Dynamaxing, then that's fine. I was just guessing in my head. And if they don't want to Dynamax, that's fine too, because it is banned in the first place. With that said, let's jump right into the battle. Thank you to my opponent, Seb, for challenging me, of course. I hope we battle again in the future. It's very likely that we won't because it's a small world out there, you know what I'm saying? All right, here we go. He's going to start out with all creamy, and I'm going to start out with Landorus. Nope, just kidding. It's actually Foxy, the Zora work in disguise. Gonna go for the U-turn here. Get out of there. And I'm actually going to go into Steelhead instead because I know the Dazzling Gleam is coming. We're going to go into him and holy crap that does a lot of damage for it being resisted. I know he has poor special defense, but wow, that does a lot of damage. So I know he's going to switch out into Charizard. This is a great opportunity, a prime time actually, to go for the Rock Polish and nail him with a Head Smash. Holy crap, I missed it. I had bad luck with that move. And he has Ember. Don't mess around with Ember, guys. Like, I had a match where somebody used Ember and wrecked my team, not gonna lie. But I thankfully hit the head smash on turn two. I have a life orb, but that's okay. And now he goes and gets Surfetch. And I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go for the head smash again. What the hell? It's gonna do a lot of damage, and I'm just gonna sack the Agron anyway. He just goes with a rock smash, so you can see that my opponent is a rookie. That's fine. It actually was a good battle, I'm not gonna lie. So I go into Blaziken next. I am a choice scarf, so I'm gonna lock myself into Fire Punch here and just knock out the Surfetch. Next up, he has All Creamy. I'm like, nope, I'm not gonna stay in here after what I saw earlier. Dazzling Gleam did so much damage. 
And I was like, what is he gonna go for? And he surprises me with a tri attack, but I know that Shroom Head is a special wall in this battle, so I knew that was gonna do literally nothing. He goes into Zorora, which is a great play on his part because while I did forget him to switch, I didn't expect him to do that, so that's a little unfortunate. And then he goes for the blaze kick. I wanted to see if he has it, so I just stay in and just go for the Giga Drain. I could have gone into Landorus, but like I said, you know, I'm a special wall and I have a lot of HP, so if he has the physical move, I could probably live it, unless it's a critical hit. But after seeing this, I'm going to go switch out. Go into my Landorus here, the real thing, I promise you on that because of the Intimidate. Lower his attack, and he goes for, he goes for yet another Blaze Kick. And you can see that because I'm defensive as well, it's not going to do anything. That said, he's going to withdraw, and he's going to go into Alchemy again. And I end up going for the Stealth Rock. Trying to discourage a lot of the switching that's been going on so far in this battle. Like, there's a lot of, and, and let me tell you, editing that part, or editing all the parts really, was a pain in the ass. So, I wanted to discourage him from switching. So, I just go for knockoff, trying to see if he's holding like a, an item or something like that. Turns out he's not, so that really confirms that he's new to battling. He probably doesn't have all the items yet. Anyway. I have my leftovers there, and then I'm gonna go for U turn to get out of there. I could have gone for an earthquake there, but I felt like I could go for U turn and just go into somebody different, which is going to be Shroom Head. I know the Dazzling Gleam is coming, and I can go for Sword Bombs. Hooray! But I do know that he has Eternalist, so I, you know, even though he's gonna go into that right now, I felt like going for Sword Bomb would be a good play. It is what it is. Like, I, I wanted to be safe. It's okay, too, because if he has Flamethrower or Fire Blast, something super effective, I'm going to survive it because, like I said, Shroom Head is a special wall. So, yeah, you can see that. It's not going to do much. And because I can do this, I can go for Stone Spore and paralyze the Eternatus. It's going to make my job a lot easier in the future when I go into Star Me, Starlight. I switch out and go into Starlight right now, so how do you do? It's been a while since I've used this thing. I really didn't really got a chance to... Wow, that was a mouthful. I never got a chance to use the Starmie in a lot of battles. I had a few Starmie trained, and this one in particular was from, let's say, X and Y for a little bit, and then I used it in Boros, but I never recorded a battle with it, so consider this the debut for him on the channel. I go for Psychic as he goes into Zero Aurora, and I was like, really hoping I was faster, but as it turns out, Zero Aurora is indeed faster. I was gonna go for a Rapid Spin, getting a Speed Boost. It would have been awesome, but it really wouldn't be beneficial, regardless. So I go into my Scarfed Blaze again, because I, you know, choice Scarf, I can't Spear everything. Except for Reggie Lucky, though. But unfortunately, he doesn't have that, which is good, so it is fortunate. I don't know what I'm saying at this point. Anyways, Go for close combat, and it doesn't knock out the alchemy, but I'm faster than it, so I'm gonna go for it again and make sure that it goes down. I could have gone for a poison jab expecting this, but it's okay. He is at low HP, and because I have the salt socks up, it's gonna make the job of cleaning up a whole lot easier. You know what I'm saying? So he has Eternus, and he's paralyzed. I'm like, what's he gonna do? He's gonna go for Diamond Cannon here? Guess we'll find out, right? I'm gonna sack the Blaziken, okay? As it turns out, he is going to get paralyzed. I'm like, okay, you know, that's, that's half for you. It really doesn't matter. And he goes into Zacian. And I thought that that was a dumb play because I thought Zacian was weak to fighting. But apparently it's just neutral, which is fine. It still, still do a lot of damage. And I'm at like, what, plus or no, minus four defenses. So I wanna switch out and use my Zora work a little bit more. Uh, well, <laughs> I, I do that in a little bit. I guess I was a little ahead of myself here. But anyway, I go to Landorus instead, because I can do that, lower his attack. I, I do end up using Zora work, because I, I remember that specifically. Anyways though, so he's going with God, go back in the land, or uh, Eternus. Man, I'm getting ahead of myself here. It's okay guys, I'm a little bit tired, but, 
Regardless, I'm gonna go for Earthquake, and it is super effective against the Kernelis. He's just sacking it. That's fine. This is a fast battle, so I apologize, but you know, it is what it is. I really wanted to showcase this team. I might do this again, because this is a really badass team. It's pretty good. So you guys are gonna Zero Aurora after the KO, and I'm going to uh, be happy about that because he goes down. I'm like, oh yeah, he has to deal with the South Ass. I kind of forgot about that. But that's why I go for another Earthquake, but the South Ass helped me out there. So that's great. Now I can go into Zoro Arc. Yeah, because I go into Blaze again, which is in disguise. Don't worry, I'm not lying. So uh, he goes for Crunch, and you can see that because of the four defenses that Zoro Arc has, it's going to do a lot of damage. So it's Foxy. I say go for the knockoff, try to knock out an item away, and I get a critical hit. Secret Sword is gonna knock it out, so uh, I do end up using Zoroark, but I let him go down, so I'm a bad trainer. God damn it. But anyway, so this is the last bit of the battle here, and that is when I start Blaze again, pulling through with the Fire Punch, and that's going to be the end of this quick battle. I win this one 6 3. It came out really close, sir, than I thought, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was just a quick battle that I had, and it was, it was pretty good, so can't complain about that. Again, I will have another match with the same team with a friend of mine, most likely. Otherwise, I better pass by. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Stay safe out there, you know? COVID is still a thing, and, you know, I'm going to do my best to stay safe, and I'll be continuing to upload videos for you guys. But I am busy, but I'm almost done with finals, so we're getting there. Anyway, so if you guys enjoyed this battle, be sure to give me a like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through and you just happen to be upon this video. Have a great day, trainers. Talk to you all soon.